welcome back to another MCRID tutorial. Uh, we are going to be doing this about once a month now. Um, that gives me more time to prep and test things and stuff like that. Anyhow, um, yeah, so first thing you want to do is create a new flat world. Uh, we are going to be creating a biome today, but uh, we need to get some stuff prepped before we actually go ahead and build a biome. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is basically give our um, player a structure block. So Minecraft structure block and um, that's the first thing that you want to do. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is uh, turn it to peaceful so you have less mobs and stuff coming into your workspace area and place that down somewhere and then what you want to do from there is um, grab a block that you're not going to be using and just kind of estimate where um, you want your tree to be. Uh, I've done a similar tutorial on this in the past but uh, I thought I would revisit it just to refresh everyone's memory. Now you want it to be an uneven number because your log is going to be in the center of it. So this is like a 9 by 9 or something like that. So it's a perfect square. Um, it's not really important to be a square, but uh, it is has a single block for a centerpiece. So we're just going to mark that where our tree is going to go. And from that, um, we need to calculate how high we want it. So I'm going to um, count up decent amount of blocks so right there is where our tree will start our stump and then we'll count up how many blocks we want to actually place the, um, the leaves and stuff and the small branches so once you get that point there um, you just want to double check the height because that's going to be important to what your um, plugging in into the structure block. Now I do have to move this. Um, it can go right where the uh, cross section is for the outline. You're not going to build on the outline. You're just going to stay within the lines. And now what you want to do is set all these to one. And um, yeah, set all these to one, but uh, so that, and then the secondary number is how many blocks it's going to be um, on the opposite corner. Now I underestimated uh, my original size was 11, so it's actually 9 and 9 and that is our workspace and we're going to be building within those square grids so it's perfect it's at the right height and everything like that I'm just going to outline it here so I know where I'm going to be building and uh, now I'm not going to say um, it's going to take a short time to design a tree because it's it should take a while to place the blocks and do proper planning to make it look good but um, you know, start with figuring out what you want for your um, your material for your logs and stuff. All right, so I've come back. I've just used some vanilla blocks. You can actually build your blocks in M Creator first and then build with those blocks. However, logs are a little bit restricted right now on to the rotation. Hopefully, M Creator will have that in the future but um, you can build custom trees just using mcrater blocks once you have um, made them. So I'm just going to be using this tree. It's within the lines, all the sides. It uh, fits perfectly and um, it's above the terrain for the selection. So we're not going to be copying the terrain either and you just want to give it a name I'm going to call it Northwest Trees Gaming and then like underscore um, biome tree and 
I'm going to set one. So that's good. You don't need to set any settings. Um, if you want to include entities, and I think that will actually be a good idea to try because I haven't uh, tried that before. Um, but what you want to do is um, fill all this first with structure voids. And uh, you want to use the fill command, select your first corner, and then go up to your second corner on the opposite side and then place in your chords. You can use tab to easily uh, select the coordinates and other values like Minecraft, etc. So we're going to set void, the data value to zero. We're going to go replace, and then Minecraft error. And we're going to copy that, but before pasting the chords and replacing everything, we're going to break those two blocks that we placed so they don't uh, so they can get replaced by the structure voids. So if we turn that on and hit done, you can see that all the squares are now red. So they were blue before. This indicates that there is a structure void in those places. So uh, we can save or we can enable entities, which we're going to actually do this tutorial because I haven't tried it yet. And it'll be interesting to see what we can actually um, get away with. So I'm just going to outline the workspace, that line that we built, because it's not being used, with some fences to keep the entities in. And once we get the entities in there, we're just going to place a, some weird type of creature down, something passive. And um, let me go through the creative inventory. Uh, there's some spawn eggs somewhere around here. So let's just grab some mushrooms throw a couple of those in and they should uh, go with the actual trees so they'll spawn with trees so you want to hit save and then it'll be saved to your folder uh, for structures in your minecraft world so once you got your minecraft world done what you want to do is go to structures and then import uh, from structure from Minecraft and then you should have your structure name uh, as well as the world name here. Uh, that's the tree we're going to be using. Now what you want to do is create a biome. So we're going to go biome and then we're going to give it a name and I just closed it by accident. <laughs> okay biome and then we're going to go northwest trees gaming and then biome, then we're going to call it um, oak, uh, let's call it oak mushroom, or mush, yeah let's call it oak mush, <laughs> I don't know, sounds fair, alright so your ground block is what your, your grass, your top layer where the grass would normally be, I suggest just using grass unless you're making a really um, like a mutated biome. Um, for the block underneath is going to be the dirt of what the biome would naturally be. So I'm just going to use solid dirt. And now generating lakes, I'm going to generate lakes, tree generator, uh, we're going to use schematic trees then we're gonna select our tree that we imported. Custom trees have to do with the settings down below and vanilla trees are the trees that Minecraft naturally generates. So you can set your biome colors as well. Um, I'm, I'm okay with the way it's set up. It could be a little bit more improved though, I think. Um, however, I'm just gonna use uh, some random colors from this palette and um, Let's see what could we do for the grass. Um, da -dum, da -dum, green, yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna say somewhere around here. Yeah, that looks fine. All right. So next, and the amount of trees we're gonna have around ten grass per chunk. Maybe, yeah, we'll leave it at ten. Now the biome weight is. Uh, how heavy the biome is within the variety of the biome type. So we're going to set it actually quite high. We're going to generate biomes in 
overworld because that's where we want to generate it. And uh, we're gonna set some mobs to spawn as well. So we want to have zombies spawn in here and uh, creepers a few other things so make sure you set the mobs that you want to actually spawn in the biome so that they will now when I was actually testing and we'll get into this a little bit further but um, I think there was too many mushrooms which might be a thing you want to take in consideration because uh, for every tree that there is or structure if it's generating an entity it might reduce the amount of entities underground as well as above ground so um, with the amount of mushrooms that I put in there for every tree, um, I was noticing that slimes and stuff weren't spawning as well. So um, you might just want to have a few mobs spawn and just remove the whole entity tree thing. All right, so I'm just going through the rest of this, uh, which is I'm just adding all the aggressive mobs to the thing the list so when we do generate the world they will spawn in it normally they will but I think because of the mushrooms uh, it was too much and cow we're gonna have cows generate and that's all we want and um, now you have a whole bunch of other settings on this side here um, everything from if you want large mushrooms to spawn to uh, the biome raining possibility. If you want a really raining biome, then you can change it to one. Uh, the biome temperature is uh, based on the location of where the biome is. So if it's um, 0.5 or yeah, 0.5, it will be somewhere central to the biomes that are around warm biomes. Uh, the biome base height is the um, basically the terrain base like the lowest terrain um, frequency and the biome height variation is based on how high it can actually go so uh, you can play around with that we're going to set it uh, pretty high um, in variety so we're going to go like 0 0.4 0 0.5 and we'll go like 5 or 0.5 and then we'll generate whatever train that generates. We'll have to test it a few times in order to um, actually see what it looks like. But I'm gonna hop in game after this is all finished compiling and then we're gonna go and find a biome that we created. Alright so I did end up generating the biome. It looks like this in the natural generation. Um, I think one of the things with mCrater at this current version, 1.8.1, uh, is the trees. It could be the way I'm importing the trees too. It is an NBT structure, which might have something to play with the location of where the trees are spawning. Um, I don't remember them being like this with uh, schematic files, so you might want to try... Um, importing your world that you build your trees in into mCrater or yeah mCrater no uh, MC edit uh, the newer version should work with the uh, custom blocks and uh, just don't change the type of block and you should be fine I've used mCrater in the past to make uh, biome tutorials and change trees and stuff as well so uh, I know the old wor version works fine if you can get your hands on that However, I wasn't seeing any um, aggressive mobs spawning in caves, which was a little bit concerning because they were supposed to be spawning. So I don't know if this is a bug or if it's just because there's way too many mushrooms above. So I tried uh, digging down, trying to find a different cavern somewhere further down, and I didn't have any luck doing that. And it's a little hard to do when you don't know where your biome ends and stuff too, right? So. Um, yeah, so outside of that, it does work with the trees. They just seem to be floating over air and other places. Um, if you have any idea why it would be doing that, please uh, contact me in the comments and I can, you know, just give a updated description of the video. 
and let people know about that. Um, yeah, so I wasn't having any luck with finding like a cavern or anything like that. So um, outside of that, that's how you basically make a uh, biome with custom trees. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching my video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications. You can also go to my Google Plus page. I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page, or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and, um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to as many people as I can, as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you next time.